In this video, we will reduce our website's HTTP request by enabling CSS sprites of our images and boost our website's loading speed. So hey guys, my name is Raman and welcome to Web Digital channel. And in this video, we are going to learn how to implement CSS sprites of your static images on your web page and eliminate all those extra unnecessary HTTP requests which actually boost your website traffic. How does it work? For example, here this is the webby.com and this is our website. And here we have multiple static images as you can see right here, right? Here is a um, SEO service and it has a big picture here which represent that SEO services. And there if you scroll down to all, there are many static images out there. And what we can do is and if whenever page loads the browser will start downloading web page content which is the html part and there will be a different types of http request may it may be http request of your scripts css files or maybe your animations or the images part and here if i click on the view page source and if we see there are many HTTP requests out there and it will take a while to actually load your website and to remove that and if you can see if I search for the SVG part here so this is the static images that linked here this is the same images we are talking about so this is the top section SVG and as you can see there is also top SVG second is section 2 and there you go. Whenever browser loads your website, it will also take all the HTTPS requests taken into granted. So what if I tell you, you can actually compile all these images into one. Yes, you can compile all these images into one and you can call that images only from the one image you have already uploaded. And there you will reduce all those HTTP requests only to one. Yes. So that's where CSS sprites come in. So what is CSS Sprite? CSS Sprite can help you to compile all your images into one and you can call that specific part of the images from there with the help of CSS. So that's what we are going to learn and we are going to learn with the help of our project here which is avabi.com and there's a tool out there which you, I will put the link in the description box which is toptal.com slash CSS Sprites Generator. So it will help us to generate css sprite and it will be really helpful for your daily seo life so let's start it so first thing what you need to do is you need to download all the images out there on your web page for current web page which you are working right now so here what i'm going to do is click save image as and here i will create a new folder naming main page assets so here let me just save that and start saving it just like this I want to include this also and these six images also let me download that now what we are going to do is we are going to upload these SVGs or image you have go to this toptal.com and slash whatever the link is here and you can do is choose files and after you click on choose files and here you have all these images just select these and click on open so it will take only a second to load that up and you have this image also which is the sprites image we have compiled that into one and you should click the download here just like that and here is your CSS code yes so here is the CSS code what you need to do is you need to put this code in your CSS file yes and for that part let's go to my file manager okay so I'm going to my theme folder yeah so this is my index code front-end code or you can see so I will keep that into here let me add a CSS code of all these and also upload the image files you have downloaded from here so you need to upload that and for that part what we are going to do is i'm going to use cdn services so cdn for the cdn i use bunny.net so this is the cdn files of my website so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop my css sprites here so new link will be cdn.webby.com slash css 
rights.png. You can also change that to SVG the way you want. So it's all depend on you. And now moving forward to the CSS part. So here is the CSS part. Now we need to paste all the CSS. But before pasting all the CSS, we need to add it the background URL here. So background URL, you have to add it that with your whole URL. So if it is in your main page, then you should don't care about it. And but if you it is to the CDN like mine, so you have to put the whole URL here. So it won't work without that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a VS code just for the sake of compiling that. Okay, so I'm adding that here. So let me just copy all this code, paste that here. So let me delete this XX here. So yeah, that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all these to my own URL. And for that, there are multiple things you can do. I'm going to find this and replace it with cdn.webby.com slash this. So there you go. It got replaced and we also got our classes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this class, paste that in my one of my CSS file. So let me just download this. So here it is. And before pasting out that here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize my code. And for that part, I'm going to DSA tools and just search for CSS minifier. And there I want to just block that and submit. So that will be a minified version. Make sure this particular CSS file is actually linked or I would say attached to your page that you are optimizing right now. For example, this is my home page. And if I click on uh, view page source, just search for all those CSS files that has been attached to it. So new main dot CSS is already there. So I think that will work just fine. And let me just copy that here just after each these classes. The file is huge. So this should work. Okay click on save obviously the name is not that right and let me go to the folder that move that to here so if we open that just to be sure if it's linked yeah it's linked okay so let me upload that to my bunny.net cdn again let me delete the new main dot CSS from here and where it is yeah so the CSS file has been uploaded and to check that out or uh, verify that let me go to the view page source again and if, if it is there yeah it's there so let me go to there if you're using a CDN so it will take a while to actually reflect that out or you can just click on purge then all changes will be reflected so as you can see there is no changes has been reflected but if i click on the purge it will help us to reflect the change so for the purge part you have to select this purge so here will be your website and just click on purge so yes purge it so it got purged okay so now we need to add it our code where these images are so we have added to our css and i think it should be working now so to edit the code, you need to search for that specific HTML code of that particular image. And here it is my image. As you can see, image class is this and source will be of that. And now you need to delete this image tag with the div container tag. Yes. So what you need to do is you need to add the div to it and delete all the those codes which is related to it. And now add a closing div to it and now if we click on save and before clicking on save let's add the rest so there's the top section too now i will copy this particular class for the second part as you can see the top section two is here so let's just delete this and add the div class 
adding that class so let's save that also and there's a third section also here now for that part we will be adding another div for the third one so yeah here's the third one and now delete that part okay so let's see if it does work here or not and just go here so yeah it is working so if we just click on the view page source and if we click on the view page source and going to that particular top one a class or i will say um yeah unlimited audit so yeah as you can see there is no image sign there's only a class so that will be the first step okay so now browser will only load once which is being mentioned in your css file so it will only request only one url which is the sprites one which we have already added on our css so isn't it amazing right and if let's do for the rest of the part so here okay so devices.svg is the file name and let's search for it so there you go and for this part what i'm going to do is going to add a class to it i'm deleting this adding a div container to it so the class will be for the devices so yeah so this is the devices class and let me add that here bg devices and now closing tag click on save do keep on checking your website by reloading it it will be working fine or not so we got to left with this let me add that also so yeah sus which one let me copy that okay so it has been done as you can see all are working really good so that's how you can easily apply css sprites on your website whether it's a web wordpress or not wordpress website so you can easily apply css sprites on your website to reduce http error request and boost your website speed so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to watch such amazing tutorials in the future you have a subscribe button just click on that so see you in the next video until then bye bye